One of the most common questions that I get asked from online course creators is how to use PowerPoint really fast and really quickly without having a lot of problems. So today in this video, I'm going to create a structure of an online course for you super fast by using PowerPoint 365. So I'm recording this entire video on Zoom and that's pretty much is going to be the way that you're going to teach your content as well. So you're going to use Zoom to have some audience members live. You're going to put them on mute and you're going to teach them live. And that allows you to share your screen the way that I'm sharing my screen here with you. But let's go to the PowerPoint and talk about how to use PowerPoint super quickly in creating your online course. So the first thing that you need to know in PowerPoint 365, you have one option called design ideas, okay? So when you open PowerPoint, this is like, I just opened it, right? And then on the top right, you have this button that says design ideas. And we're gonna use that a lot for the next few minutes. Now, before I get to that and talk about design ideas, you need to know about the structuring of your outline of the online course. And I've done a complete video on this before, but I'm going to quickly repeat this on how you could design an outline of a course. So the this way that you design the outline of a course is by thinking that every course has several modules. Generally, we want them to have between four to eight modules. And every module, you want to give people a homework. Okay? So... Technically, what we design the course based on are based on the homework, the different pieces of homework that allow the person to get the final results of the course, okay? So now every module is designed based on one or two important pieces of homework that people need to do. And all we want to teach in that module are several lessons that the person needs to know on how to do that homework. For example, let's say one of the homework that I want to give my students who are going through my online course creation course is to put together their course one pager, okay? So the name of this module is gonna be course one pager. And as I open, this is a title slide. And on that, I'm gonna put the name of module. For example, let's say this is module four and it's gonna be course one pager, okay? So on that, then I'm gonna click create a new slide. And if you go here, click on create new slide, you're gonna be able to see different slide and the slide that you want to do, depending on you can choose which one you want, but generally we do the title and content slide, which this one is a perfect slide to be able to put bullet points in that, right? So what I want to say in this one, it says that I want to have a slide called the agenda. And in the agenda slides, I want to put the lessons that I'm going to talk about in the course one pager. And the lessons I'm gonna to talk to them about is one, the name of the course, then the subtitle of the course. Then I want to talk about the features. Then I want to talk about the um uh, the who this course is for now i want to talk about who this course is not for then we want to talk about the logistics and price and the guarantee okay so this is the outline of the lessons in this module. So I'm gonna give all these lessons to allow people to know how to name a course, how to choose a subtitle, how to put the features together, know who this course is for, who this course is not for, the logistics, how it works, and then the price point and the guarantee. So this gives me the lessons to be able to do the course one pager. And then at the end, I'm gonna give them a homework, which that homework is put together your course one pager. So you see, I'm teaching them enough to be able to do the homework, but I don't give them more because that starts overwhelming them, okay? And then I'm gonna put together every slide separately. So for example, when it comes to the name, I go and click on new slide. And then 
that comes with name. And then I say, for example, for name, you want to use the three word naming structure. You want to name for credibility. And you want to uh, research the uniqueness of the name. Okay. And so on and so forth. And I go and put together all the slides for the course. And then at the end, I give them a homework and I simply click new slides and say the homework for the module is put together your course one pager. Okay, so as you see, I do everything uh, pretty much as uh, bullet points. What that allows me to do, that allows me to teach, but not read from my screen. You don't want to be reading from the screen. You want to teach from the screen and use the screen as a prop as opposed to be the main point. But one thing that I can do is I can go ahead and choose a theme for this. So the entire presentation looks prettier. And on here, I can go under design. And under design, I can choose a theme. And when I choose a theme, suddenly the entire presentation look much better. So I can choose the core of the theme from here and I can choose the color of the theme here. So I can say, give me that theme with the blue background. And suddenly now I have all of those. But then as you see, also we have another feature called design ideas that loaded up. And then now that we have these design ideas loaded up, I can actually click on design ideas. And with the clicking on the design ideas, that will allow me to get super cool, super great uh, uh, content in different ways. So if I click on this module four, for example, and on this design idea, then suddenly you see that's how it shows up. Then I go to the agenda and I look on the design ideas and it gives me so many different ways that the course can look like. So for example, I can click on this and suddenly all the design ideas look like that, right? And if I don't like any of the ideas, I can click on see more design ideas and it gives me more design ideas. Now, if you keep all these words the same length, Okay, so when it says who this course is for and who this course is not, so you keep try you try to keep all of this to one word, okay, then it gives you some icon design idea. So I'm gonna remove these two for the purposes of training right now to show you what happens if you had only one word designs, right? So I'm gonna go to another page, I'm gonna come back to this. And then when you look at here, you see that it will be able to give you some more ideas that, um, that are actually pretty unique. So as you see here on the side, for example, you have the iconic design, right? So with all the words, and if you go to other pages, then you will also give you this type of icon. So for example, under the name, it says, three word naming, or it says a uh, name for credibility, and it says research the uniqueness, and it gives you all this design. As you notice, I am not doing anything special here. All I'm doing is I'm clicking on the design ideas, and it gives me all these unique cool ideas here, which is great, okay? And then when I go to here, the last one, I can get the homework. And again, I can make the homework look uh, unique. And I can click on here and it gives me uh, this unique homework. So put together your course one pager. And as you see, very fast, very quickly, I was able to put together this PowerPoint. Now, obviously if I was teaching the course, I would go and add more lessons, which means that I would add more slides, right? And when it comes to presentation of it, simply I come here, and I press this button, which is the presentation or slideshow button. And it goes to full page and says module four course one pager. 
when you go to the next page. On this module, we're gonna talk about the naming, we're gonna talk about the subtitle, features, logistics, price, and guarantee. And if you can, and you can choose at that point to stop the video and start another video so you have shorter recordings. And when you get to, for example, name, then you can talk about all the details. This this module, for example, about this the lesson on name may take about two or three or four or five minutes, and then you stop the recording, and then you have one more lesson, and then you go to the next slide, and you have one more lesson, right? But you put all these lessons in one module together, so by the time that you get to the homework, the person has learned everything related to that homework. 